all right so i let you guys choose on twitter as i always do which unit i should level up upgrade and then taking the pvp to showcase and melascula won she won uh the randomizer chose her so <laughs> shout out to amazing because he always wanted me to use her and to be honest i've never really used red melascula um she always just sat in my box collecting dust so it's gonna be cool using her um i you know she's a good she's a good uh unit to keep alive because if she's alive then she can keep another unit that gets to one hp to like prevent them from dying i believe it's for two or three turns or it's just until she dies as well let me see um yeah for three turns so they'll be stuck at 180 for three turns as long as she lives we got the costume going on you know the christmas spirit i really like this outfit that i have on her i don't like her top hat right and i didn't really like her whatever this is like her demon whip for her christmas outfit either so i just changed it but yeah we're gonna go in there i'm using king my king's um uh, equipment so that way she can be a little a little bulky you know what i mean uh, with hp and defense i don't have ur gear for any of the uh, melasculas so yeah we'll see what happens but let's see how good she is i don't know this is the team i'm running i really didn't know what team to use because um melasculas is like she's uh she's not a unit that i really plan on using in the future so yeah We'll see what happens. Okay, so 250k. Okay, wow, that's actually crazy. All right, so he has um, he has Ladosio on Meliodas. Okay, interesting. Our advantage is we have two green units, but we're also kind of at a disadvantage because he has Lost Vein. So we'll see. All right, I don't actually want to get my ultimate gauge at max because then my defense related stats go down by 100 that's the rule in pvp i don't know why he went straight for keo i guess he doesn't know about um melascula or, or melascula's passive so he, he has four mm, i think we can i think we can honestly do some crazy damage i don't want to get a merge or a merger off on uh, melascula because then she will die she actually will die Right, he has one hit left. Don't merge, please. Don't merge. Don't merge. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got a little scared. Hopefully, hopefully Meliodas gets his ult gauge, actually, because that would be just clutch. I think he knows. <laughs> I think he knows about the rule. I think he knows about the rule. If he kills, he can't really kill Keo. So, I'm not worried about it. What I am worried about him is putting... Did he, like, just literally forget about Keo's passive? Or, not Keo, um, Melisceela's passive. Okay, now I think we can go ahead and... Yeah, I think we can actually kill Meliodas. If this doesn't kill him, I will actually be surprised. Like, actually. But let's see. <laughs> okay that <laughs> oh my god that ended him literally took him out man that's actually pretty crazy wow i i knew he was gonna do damage but wow oh wow that's that's actually insane okay so now he's probably gonna go for um melascula or melascula whatever i think it's melascula yeah melascula Melascula. <laughs> All right. Again? He... Oh, okay. This time he can... Okay. This time he can kill Mikey. Okay. And right, we got Goddess Elizabeth. Hmm. Okay. What do we want to... Hmm, we can't attack him. So we'll do this. We put up a barrier. And then he'll kill uh, Melascula. Hmm. I don't know if we can win this. If by some miracle Melascula actually lives, 
that we might be able to take this because she can revive. But if he attacks her again, she's not gonna. She's definitely not gonna live. He went after. Okay, he went after Galther. Hmm. He went after Galther. Or Gother. Okay. So what I'll do is. Hmm. Now the only problem is he'll revive. All right, so now we're gonna take twelve percent of his max HP. I, I this isn't. I don't think this is gonna kill. I hope it doesn't. Oh yes, okay, it didn't kill. Okay, it didn't kill. We got mad HP back too. We're looking good. We're looking good. Okay, no one has the ult. Don't merge. Okay, I was gonna say don't merge into Galther. Okay, no one has their ult, so we're looking good. We can just put up a barrier. Oh, he forfeited. Okay, that match lasted a little longer than I thought it would. But all right, so we won our first match with um, Muscula, so we're looking good. Again, sorry if the audio is a little weird. I am using a new microphone, and I'm trying to get adjusted to it. It's a really like good microphone. It's just it's. It's a little bit more complex than my Snowball, like my Blue Yeti Snowball. So it's a HyperX Quadcast microphone. So yeah, sorry about if the audio is a little jankier, um, a little weird at sometimes. I like this hand. I like this hand actually. Okay. So what we can do, I don't want to alt drain them because if I do, right, if I put the dissolve on, it'll kind of screw me over a little bit. So what we'll do is We'll actually rank up Keel's cards. And then we'll do that. So I'm hoping he gets his ult. Right? I am actually hoping he gets his ult with somebody. So that way I can just completely destroy them. Okay, so he might get it with Lost Vein. Okay, he put up the shield. I, I'm thinking he's going to get it with Lost Vein though. More than likely. Yeah, he, he, okay, so he got it. So, hmm. What we can do to break it is. Hmm. This, this, and then. I guess we can do th that. I don't, okay, I thought about it. I don't want to actually one-shot him, so we'll see. Look at how much damage he took. Oh, my God. This rule is just, like, insane. Okay, now, 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 <laughs> Gother has his ult. All right, I'm not worried about that because I'll just stay alive. Okay, so he, hmm, I, because he'll just revive, right? So what we'll do is this on him. No, what? No, 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 no. What we'll do is this. We'll do this, and then we, I guess we just gotta hope and pray that we kill Meliodas with the level three at the end. Oh, we could have took the whole team out, man. Had Meliodas died from that last attack, we actually could have took out the whole entire team. All right, but we took care of the revive, so I'm not worried about it. The only one left is Merlin. Keo can't die. This is pretty much GG, and we'll take it. So she... Okay. Yeah, we, we took this one. It's not a problem. Okay, so we have what eight ignites on <laughs> Elizabeth, so she's she's pretty much dead, and then we'll just attack Merlin. So yeah, this match is over. Uh, goodbye, Goddess Elizabeth.
one hundred and ninety seven K. Okay. Okay. Um Malaska, I see you. I see y'all here. Alright. And then I'll end it with Malaska's all oh, oh wow, she actually killed Gauther. All right, so what we'll do just to ensure death. All right, so we took 12% uh, of the max HP from Merlin, and then we're going to end it. Anta no Mayu. 186k with a crit. Really, really good from uh, Malaskula, man. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm really enjoying using this unit. I really am enjoying using this unit, man. Um... All right, let's go ahead and get to the next match. You guys can see, obviously, I haven't really been playing gear PvP because of the rules. Now that the rules are back, it's like, it's a little annoying. But, I mean, I have to at least get to champion, right? Because if I don't, uh, I stay at Masters. And I don't want to stay at Masters because I actually want to get PvP coins. But I need to start getting back into PvP more. Like, just even off camera, I need to start playing it a little bit. It's just been so, it's just been every, oh, Pierce team, okay. All right, this is actually interesting. Pierce comp. All right. Hmm. A Pierce team is actually really interesting. Um. We need to get rid of at least Demon Meliodas. What I'll do is I'll just attack into them, and then I'll... I probably should have used... Yeah, I should have used her inhale before... Her attack that would have been smarter that would have been a lot smarter actually okay so Keo got ignited which is fine we might actually lose this because Pierce teams like low-key are pretty strong I'm not gonna lie okay okay you lowered my attack related stats okay <sighs> Yeah, yeah, we we might have lost this one. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Okay. Hmm. What do we do? I I guess we just have to put damage in on Demon Meliodas, man. That's pretty much all we can do. I mean, he took a he actually took a decent amount of damage there. Uh, maybe if he gets a crit, he can. Yeah, if he would have got a crit, Meli uh, Demon Meliodas would have died, actually. Okay. Alright, um... If she doesn't cleanse, we're, we're good. But I think this is the end, man. I think this is it. Yeah, this... Yep, it's over. We lost. <laughs> he took out the whole squad. Oh my god, Pierce teams are on another level. Like, they are actually on another level. It's actually insane. But uh, GG's to that guy, man. I didn't expect to be facing a Pierce team. That's actually really, really good. I hate that I lose so many points, though, when I, like, when I lose a match. It's so annoying. Like, <sighs> this is why I don't really play. Like, this is why I stopped playing gear PvP. This is exactly why. But it's all right. We're just testing out the team for fun. It's all good. But, yeah. Malaska is she's really really good. I think I'm gonna do another vote too to see what units that you guys want me to use in PvP because I actually enjoy doing this, right? It actually gives me a reason to do my raids. It actually gives me a reason to upgrade units. It's actually really fun. So I think I'm gonna keep doing it. Alright, Keo lost in, in uh Gother. Alright. So I okay. Hmm. I don't know if we can do this, right? We can rank up a uh, Malaskula, and then we can inhale, what? what is it, 20%? Yeah, so we took 20% of the max HP from them. All right, cool. Well, I like, okay, I like this hand. I actually like this hand. So if he doesn't attack with, okay, he didn't attack with Meliodas, so we're, we're okay. We're all, okay, so we're still good. Because now Meliodas has like a lot of Ignites on him. Good, good. We can actually probably take care of Meliodas. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. And if we don't, well, we just we just uh, screwed ourselves over a little bit. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was over from the get-go, man. It was over from the get-go for Meliodas. Okay. Now, please don't merge. Okay, good. I was... Derriere on the back. Okay, that's... That's new. That's actually new. Okay, Derriere on the back. Hmm. And her commandment works, right? Yeah, so, okay. Okay. Okay, we still have... We, okay, she, okay, she, he didn't die. <laughs> Gother's still alive, so that's good. So what we can do is... Ooh. No, 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 no. What we'll do is... And I guess let's just try and take out Gother. That's pretty... Yeah, that's pr literally all we can do. Okay, so he's dead. Please attack Derriere. Okay. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> Kyo has his ultimate, which means... Which means if he gets attacked, he is going to die. Okay, so Derriere is probably going to kill him. Please don't have evasion. Please don't have evasion. Please don't have evasion. Okay, now... Now, Gother is the one that... Is staying alive, which is just clutch, man. It, it's actually clutch. All right. Okay, so we can take out. Yeah, we can take Derriere, no problem. This, yeah, this is game over. There's no way. So yeah, I'm gonna make this the last match. I mean, we've seen everything we could from uh, Melascula, right? Really, really good unit uh, when paired with Keo, because Keo gives off those ignites, and obviously, you guys know. Red uh, Melascula, she works off of Ignites with her skill one. So really, really good unit. Um, really, to be honest, nothing bad to say about her. She can be used to troll. She can just be used to keep a unit alive. She can literally, she has life still like crazy. I think she has the, I think she actually does have the best life still in the entire game because mine is at fifty six percent and at base for her it's fifty percent. So I think she actually is the best lifesteal unit in the game. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen another unit that has 50% lifesteal at base. Maybe 40% at the very least, but she has 50 literally right out as soon as you get her from the summon pool. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, so yeah, she's really, really good. Nothing else to say about her. Melascula tore, tore up in PvP this week. But yeah, you guys let me know what you guys uh, what you guys think down in the comments below. You think this was a good showcase? Do you think Melascula is a good unit? Just let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But yeah, guys, with that said, I'm going to end the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Grand Cross content. Also, be sure to join our Discord. We would love to have you. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video.